Hey guys, and welcome back to another camera. Hi guys, and welcome back to another channel, okay? On this good old Wednesday, okay? Um, I hope everyone's doing great, well, because I am doing the same. But, um, I got something to spill. I definitely got something to spill to y'all. You know, I need to get this off my chest. I have talked to my friends about it. I have talked to my loved ones about it. I have talked to people about it, you know? And I'm going to tell y'all about it, okay? My experience with people smiling in your face, pretending, or whatever it's going to be. So, I'm going to try to use my words as good or expressing as I can, I guess. I'm going to try to use my words very lightly. But I'm going to express how I really feel, okay? Cats out the bag at this point for me, Okay? So, you guys know that um, I did a cabin trip, you know, with the fellas, whatever case may be. Everything was all love, positive, great. Every, everyone had their cameras, pictures, all that out. Okay? Let me say it again. Everybody had their cameras, whatever pictures, out. I want the only one, okay? Now, everything was fine. Everything was great. Everyone had a good time, okay? There was no problems, nothing but love and great energy. So, fast forward to where it's time to go home, you know? Y'all already seen the videos where I recorded everyone not just everyone, but just, you know, myself included. You know, just, just, just the whole trip, pretty much. But fast forward, um, coming home or whatever, um, I'm on the road. And I'll say I'm halfway home. I think I was, like, waiting gas on you, or the case may be, or I was somewhere on the road near my friend who I was riding with. And in the midst of me being on the road, you know, I text the group. And I said to the group, um, don't forget if you guys would like to go and watch some of the memories that I put on YouTube, you are more than welcome. Okay? Let, I'm just letting everybody know that, hey, y'all can go watch these memories that I put on the YouTube, on my YouTube channel, whatever case may be, because, you know, I'm a blogger. I got to make my coin. I got to eat. This is my job. You know what I'm saying? So even when I'm not working, I'm still working. Okay? Even when I'm working, I'm still not working. It's, I'm uh, both. Shit. Okay, cool, y'all. Everything was good. But you know, when you're going somewhere, you got that one part, that one nook, that one person that just got a problem. Okay? You got that one person that just got a problem. Okay? And I was like, just when you think shit going good, you know, I know my, my job is very risky and it takes a, you know, it sacrifices all involved. But anywho, so this is what the person said to me after um, I said what I said. They said, in their words, I didn't sign a waiver to be put on public display. I'll be having my lawyers contact you Immediately. I'll be having my lawyers contact you immediately. Now, some people thought he was joking, and I thought he was joking. You know, could have been, could have been not. But it's given that when you talk like that to me, I take that seriously because I've had a situation like that before. I don't play like that. And when you talk like that to me, it's given I'm no longer your friend. I'm your enemy, Okay. I'm no longer your friend no more. I'm your enemy. Because that's how, you, that's how you put your words. Not only you said it to me, but you put it in a group chat. Okay? When I could have respected you more if this person would have texted me personally. 
Okay? I didn't even screenshot other messages. Um, but anywho, fast forward where this person did text me. Um, was like, hey, take take all three down. When he said take all three down, I'm like, I ain't, I ain't taking shit down. Because I wasn't. But I can go back and I can edit some things and take your parts out. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't taking all three of my shit down. This is my job. This is how I make my coin, honey. You know? I don't tell other folks how to make their coin. And everybody know I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a public figure. I'm a blogger. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my coin. Okay. So, after he said that, what where the disrespect came from is that I'm in the car with my friend. So, that person called my friend and was talking to me. It was like, hey, and I can hear them. You need to talk to your friend. You need to talk to your friend. You need to talk to your friend. And whatever else they said. And then they hung up in my friend's face. And then text me a long paragraph. Why are you calling? Why you, why are you calling my friend? Well, our friend. Why are you calling our friend and then texting me? Ain't you supposed to be a man? Why you text? So I quote and say, "Hey, call me. Let's have a conversation." And he did, and we had a conversation. But when he called my friend. It made me feel like belittled. Like you ain't man enough to call me, but you can text me. You got my number. If you got my number, you can communicate. Remind y'all, y'all, I've been in this man's house. Uh, you know, I've been around. We, 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 we had good relations, relationships, whatever, you know. But stuff like this, when you talk about lawyers and all that, I don't, I don't play like that. This is my life. This is my job. This is my bread and butter. Y'all are my bread and butter. Y'all are my life. I don't play like that, okay? That's what a disrespect comes. That's what a disrespect. That's why I lost the disrespect. That's why I lost, oh, we're no longer friends no more because you're talking like that to me. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why I'm a target because everyone else had their phones and cameras out as well. Regardless if I'm putting it on YouTube, I'm sure everyone else putting theirs on Facebook or where, wherever else they want to put it at. I don't know why I'm a target. But it's given that my job is my job and what I do is very risky, sacrifices and all that. I just don't understand why I'm a target. Why? And I, and, and I always say this. I could be so good to somebody and put good energy out and I still get stabbed or shitted on. I see it stabbed in the back or shit on. It's a, something is going to problem me. And I'm like, that's, that's not the energy that I put out there. I put out good energy, honey, so I can get received good information and a good check. Check, whatever. But I'm just like, you know, like I say, every time I'm, I'm doing good for people or doing nice, I get shitted on. And like I said, we had a conversation. And he's like, yeah, this and that, you know, and. We we it's a it's a it's a private trip. If it was so if, it, if this trip was so fucking private, why is everyone taking pictures? Why does everyone else have their phone out? If this is a private trip, it ain't no difference with them them taking pictures and putting it on their Facebook and social medias. But I'm a target because I'm putting it on YouTube. It's not like I shine this person in a bad light. I shine this person in a good light. It wasn't just him; it was everybody. I shine all of us in a good light. But why I'm a target, I don't know. But now I have to keep my eyes open. And now I know I can't call anybody my friend. Because friends, friends, and got to be careful with that word too, friends. Because everybody ain't your motherfucking friend. Now I know that too as well. I really know that. Um, got to be careful with that word, definitely. Because I've been, I've been nothing but good to this person until now. Um, and I just feel like um, I just like I'm a target, you know. So you know, moving forward, you know, I just feel like that. Um, I'm just gonna keep my eye open, you know. Um, watch who you call friends, cause everybody's your friend, and I know that everybody is not your friend. Um, everybody just can be. Some people can just be associates, you know. So. Um, but yeah, 
that's, you know, that, that was my situation. You know, this person targeting me when anybody else was, was re recording and taking pictures and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, whether it's be, I'm on vacation. Yes, you know, this was a private trip, but I'm a blogger. I'm an influencer. I'm going to record something. You know, I'm going to make my coin somehow one way or another, you know. But future reference moving forward, as I am out and about with the group or, the, or this person, I advise them to keep their black ass out of my camera. Okay? That'd be my advice. Keep your black ass out of my camera. Don't take no pictures with me, no nothing. Just keep your black ass out the camera. When I'm taking a picture or recording, I advise you to step to the side. You know, that's just how I feel. They say how they feel, so I'm going to say how I feel. But I'm going to let y'all know how I'm going to do as well. But yeah, again, you know, yeah, y'all. I just, I don't, I don't play like that, you know. And that's why I said that. That's why I feel like where the disrespect came from. The disrespect came from where you're talking about lawyers and all that. And then you put in the group. And then you call our friend. And then you text me like, I ain't no fucking child. I'm a grown up. Bitch, call me. The fuck? That's that pussy shit. Like, call me if you got a problem. You know, it took for me to say, hey, call me. When you could have just called me like you, like you called such and such in the car. You know? And I just feel like I had to, I had to stand up for myself. You know? I really did. I felt like I had to stand up for myself. And I had to defend for myself. That's how I really felt. There was no, for me, there was no, I got your back, man. I got your back, you know, and that's, that's the honest truth. It was no, man, I got your back. I'm going to help you out with this as well. I had to pretty much defend myself and protect my own self, so. And you just got to be careful. Like I say again, you got to be careful with that word friend because, like I say, you call up with your friend and you must run and get shit on real quick. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's pretty much my experience. But like I say, moving forward, I'm going to keep my eyes open, honey. Very much open. And, yeah. And now, now I'm really thinking, like, damn, should I go on the next one? But, I mean, hell. That's already done. Yeah, I just, I just don't like shit like that. I really don't. I don't like shit like that at all. It, it disturbs my spirit. And this person gave a bad taste in my mouth about them as a person. So, if that's how they really feel, then, you know, hey, that's how I feel too as well. And I feel like they should be letting up to call me and say, hey, man, that's not how it really was, whatever. But they didn't, so I'm going to say how I feel right now, which I told y'all how I felt. And it is what it is at this point. I'm moving forward. I hate that I had to have experience, but that's what life is about. Experience and living. Well, yeah, y'all. I feel much better now. I told y'all I don't got to my chest, but let me know what y'all think. How y'all feel about it. But um, I'm going to talk my shit. I'm going to speak up loud. Ain't nobody going to shut me up. I have a voice and a platform. And I'm going to use that motherfucker to advantage. It's a give and take. Love y'all. Please. Thank you for your services.